Hey guys, this is the third part of my FPV drone 3D modeling tutorial series. Last time that we left off, we were still working on the frame, so let's continue. Add a circle with eight sides. Scale it downwards. Place it on the top left corner. Grid fill. Rotate it. Remove half of the faces, extrude and scale to match the picture. Ctrl R to add loop cuts. Press GG on that edge and adjust the shape. Press Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision surface modifier. Set the origin to the 3D cursor. Then add a mirror modifier to get the four sides of the model. I just mirrored it with hard ops to do it faster, but you can use a default mirror modifier. Apply it. Select these faces and press F to close the gaps. Add a loop at the center of each side. Scale the edges towards the center. Select these edges, bevel them to get a nice curvature. Right click loop tools space to properly space the edges out. Select these edges at the center, grid fill. Select these vertices, right click smooth vertices and increase these values. Select these faces, press I to inset, right click loop tools circle. Remove the faces and mirror the hole to get the four sides. Add a cylinder with three sides to get a triangle. Rotate it and scale it. Origin to geometry, shift S, selection to cursor. Adjust the shape of the triangle. Bevel the edges. Place it like this. Mirror it. Duplicate the triangles. Rotate them by 90 degrees. Adjust the shapes. Select them all, Ctrl J to join them. Then apply one level of subdivision to the main model to increase the polygon density. Select the triangles, then the main model. Press Ctrl numpad minus to add a boolean modifier, then apply it. We need to clean up the topology. Connect the vertices like so. Remove the unwanted edges. Ctrl R to add two loops, mirror to the other sides. This loop on the side is too close to the hole, so let's select these edges. Right click loop tools space. Mirror to the other side. I'm going to change the edge flow by removing these edges. And I'm going to connect the vertices like so instead. Mirror to the other side. Press M. 
Merge by distance to remove the hidden duplicated vertices. Select these faces, I to inset, right click loop tools circle. Reduce its size and mirror to the other sides. Select this loop and remove it. Shift D to duplicate the circle. Press P, separate by selection. Place the 3D cursor onto this vertex. Shift S, cursor to selected. Select the circle. Shift S, selection to cursor. I'm going to use it as a guide to make another hole that has the same diameter. I to inset. Right click loop tools circle. Turn on the subdivision surface modifier. Then scale the circle while pressing shift to be more accurate. Select these faces and repeat what you just did. Mirror the holes to the other sides, remove the duplicated circle. Extrude the model to add some thickness. Snap the faces at the bottom of the other models. Select the sharp edges. Deselect the edges at the center. Ctrl B to bevel. P to set the profile value to 1. Press A to adjust the size of the bevel. Turn on the subdivision surface modifier. Right click shade smooth. Place this part on top of the previous ones. And that's it for this video. In the next one, we will model another part of the frame. As usual, if you found that video helpful, please like it, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to join my Discord server if you need some help on your projects. And you can also join my Patreon if you want me to help you personally. Thank you for watching. Bye.